With wildfires becoming more intense every year, many people ask why ocean water isn't part of the solution. After all, there's no shortage of it. But it turns out using salt water to fight fires isn't as simple as it sounds. First, there's the issue of corrosion. Ocean water is full of salt, which can wreak havoc on firefighting equipment. Think pumps, hoses, and even helicopters. Corrosion is both costly and dangerous. There's also an environmental concern. When you put enough salt water onto vegetation, it won't grow back. Um, plants, with very few exceptions, can't grow in saline water. It could also get into rivers and streams. All of this may then impact wildlife. Anything that eats plants or plant material is going to be impacted, so there will be downstream consequences on birds, and deer, and um, animal life. And then there's logistics. Ocean water isn't practical. Many wildfires happen away from the coast, and some are in remote areas. Transporting ocean water to these locations would be cumbersome and complex in a time where speed is crucial. There is one other reason not to use salt water to fight fires, and that is that salt water is highly conductive. If you've got live power lines and salt water together, that's dangerous for the people who are fighting the fire. There is a real risk of shock. Fighting wildfires is a battle that requires the right tools, and for now, fresh water remains the best weapon in that fight.